Hello friend, this is Sunil Sharma from Speed Math and I'm back again with another great tutorial of how to find HCF in 5 seconds. Let's say we need to find HCF of 16 and 24. Step 1. First find difference between these two numbers. So 24 minus 16 will give you 8. Step 2. Check whether 8 divides both the numbers. Yes, you can see 8 divides 16 as well as 8 divides 24. Now since 8 divides both the numbers, therefore HCF has to be 8. For a number to be HCF, it has to divide both the numbers. So the very important takeaway over here is this difference has to divide both the numbers. If this difference doesn't even divide one number, then we cannot consider that number as an HCF. I hope you have understood. Let me take another example. Let's say we need to find HCF of 21 and 35. Step 1. Find the difference between 35 and 21 and we know 35 minus 21 will give you 14. Step 2. Let's check whether 14 divides 21 and 35. Now you can see 14 does not divide 21. So since 14 does not divide one of the number, as I mentioned earlier, we cannot consider 14 as an HCF. So step 2. We'll have to factorize 14. Now 14 can be factorized as 2 into 7. So now we need to check whether 2 divides 21 and 35. Now if you see 2 definitely does not divide 21. So as I mentioned earlier 2 cannot be the HCF as it does not divide both the number. Now we'll repeat the same process with the other factor which is 7. We'll check whether 7 divides 21 and 35. Yes 7 definitely divides 21 and 7 also divides 35. So since 7 divides both the number HCF as per our rule is 7. Let's take one more example. Let's say we need to find HCF of 27 and 32. Step 1. Let's find the difference between 32 and 27. And 32 minus 27 will give you 5. Now step 2. Check if 5 divides 27 and 32. You can see 5 definitely does not divide 27. And since 5 does not divide one of the number, it cannot be HCF. So step 2. Let's factorize 5. 5 can be factorized as 5 into 1. And we already know that 5 is not the factor of 27. So 5 cannot be HCF. So the only factor left is 1. So therefore HCF for 27 and 32 is 1. The important takeaway my dear friends over here is if you find the difference and if the difference does not divide one of the number try to factorize the difference and check if the factors of the difference divides the given numbers and if it doesn't then the only factor left is one which would be the HCF. Now let's take an example where we need to find HCF of three numbers. So the example is 35, 45 and 50. Step 1. Find the difference. Now here there are three possible ways of finding difference. Difference between 35, 45, difference between 45, 50 and difference between 35 and 50. Well the difference between 35 and 45 is 10, 45 and 50 is 5 and 35 and 50 is 50. We need to select the least difference and the least difference is 5. Step 2, we need to check if 5 divides all the 3 numbers. Now if you see, 5 divides 35, 5 divides 45 and 5 also divides 50. Now since 5 divides all the 3 numbers, therefore the HCF is 5. Let's take another example, 12, 30 and 84. Step 1, find the least difference. Difference between 30 and 12, difference between 84 and 30 and difference between 84 and 12. Difference between 30 and 12 is 18. Difference between 84 and 30 is 54 and difference between 84 and 12 is 72. Now you can see the least difference is 18. Step 2. Check if 18 divides all the 3 numbers. Now it is very clear that 18 does not divide 12. So what we are going to do? We are going to factorize 18. And 18 can be factorized as 2 into 3 into 3. So again we are going to repeat the process with all the factors. Check if 2 divides all the 3 numbers. Now you can see 2 6 times will give you 12, 2 15 times will give you 30 and 2 42 times will give you 84. So yes 2 divides all the 3 numbers. Since 2 divides all the 3 numbers we are going to select 2 and we need to repeat the process with the other 2 factors as well. But then we need to keep in mind we need to discard 12, 30 and 84 and we need to check for 6, 15 and 42. So let's check if 3 divides 6, 15 and 42. Yes. 3 divides 6 2 times, 3 divides 15 5 times and 3 divides 42 14 times. 3 divides all the numbers therefore we will select 3 as well. But observe the last factor 3 does not divide 2, 15 and 14 therefore we discard the last 3. Therefore the HCF will be 2, 
into 3 which is 6. I'm planning to make a video on LCM. If you think I should make one, do post it in comments and do hit like button to this video. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Do subscribe and do share it if you like it. Do check out my website speedmat.in and do follow me on my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. Peace.